What's up guys, Blizzard Productions here, back with another video, and today it's a tearless Tuesday, but on a Wednesday, the reason why it's on a Wednesday is because I totally forgot to film what I'm filming right now, yesterday, and by the time I remembered it was already like 11.30 at night, so I didn't feel like filming it, so I figured you guys would be fine with the tearless Tuesday on a Wednesday. But obviously, as you can see from the title, this tearless is about breakfast foods, and I'm not a big breakfast fan at all, so there'll be a lot of different things that really sugary stuff will be more the highest tier and stuff that are just plain I'll have lower. So obviously when I go ahead and say stuff, I'm definitely meaning it and I can be harsh on some things and I do mean that. So if you guys don't like what I'm saying and stuff, just go ahead and put it in the comment section that you disagree and what food it is. But with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so here's what the tier list looks like. At the bottom, we have never had it, meaning exactly how it sounds i've never had it before above that is get it away from me meaning i don't want any business in eating this i hate it so much and never want to have it again above that is every once in a while meaning i'll maybe have it like once a week maybe once a month it depends and then above that is every day which means it's like the best food Starting off, we have bacon. Of course, I'll have it every day. Easily one of my top three favorite breakfast foods. I mean, bacon is just never bad. You can cook it a whole bunch and it'll be really good, or you can co cook it just a little bit and it'll still be pretty good. I just don't like when it's super, super chewy. But all in all, bacon, hecka good. Next up, we have a plain bagel. I'll have it once in a while. Plain bagels, or I guess bagels in general, I'll have them maybe like once a week or so. But I look for stuff that will also also fill me up quite a bit and bagels will just last me maybe a couple of hours and they're not good plain that's for sure but they are pretty good especially like plain ones with butter and then other flavored ones with different cream cheeses all in all maybe once in a while moving on we have banana bread and yeah i'll have that every day you really can't go wrong with banana bread there's different ways that people make them and still i have yet to have a bad piece of banana bread it just is really good and it can last you a couple days too and still not go bad all in all banana bread i'll have it every day moving on we have biscuits and i'll have them occasionally maybe just once in a while they're not gonna go and the get it away from me because i will have them sometimes and they're pretty good like with stuff like biscuits and gravy which have its name in it but i mean biscuits by itself i'm not a big fan of at all and there really isn't that much of a taste you always have to have something kind of like an english muffin which i'll talk about in a second and bagels you have to have something with it it's not as good when it's plain Moving on, we have, I believe, deviled eggs, and if that's the case, I'm not a big egg person at all, and I would say get it away from me, but deviled eggs, I'll put an exception into it. That and hard-boiled eggs I like. I just don't really like scrambled eggs and stuff, but yeah, deviled eggs, I'll definitely have it maybe like once a week. They're also pretty good for you, too. Moving on, we have breakfast burritos, and it will be the first victim of the get it away from me section. I don't really like these at all. I used to like them a lot, especially with, like, hot sauce, because I'm someone that likes hot sauce with my burritos. But then they, the ones I started getting went downhill, and then I couldn't really find another one that I really did enjoy. Moving on, we have plain Cheerios, and yeah, get it away from me. I know I might get some people in the comment section saying, how could you do that to Cheerios? And let me tell you, I like Honey Nut Cheerios a lot, but these are the regular Cheerios, and those ones are just super plain. They have no taste, and they don't fill me up at all. I'm not a big cereal guy in general, but especially the plain Cheerios, I do not like. Moving on, we have chicken and waffles, and I've never had this before. I've wanted to try it, but I just haven't tried it before because I'm not a big chicken guy in general. I probably would like this, but I'm not sure. Moving on, we have cinnamon rolls, and I'll have these every day, of course. They're super sugary and definitely not even close to being healthy for you, but they are really, really good. They don't fill you up for a super long time, but they're still worth it, and I'll have like two or three and not even realize until I've ate like a third one that I've gotten a little carried away with eating them. Moving on, we have coffee cake, and it's going in and never had this category, but I didn't realize until after because I actually didn't know what it was that it was coffee cake, but I had already started doing all the editing for this tier list. But if I had known it was that, I would put it in every day because of how sugary and how good it is. Moving on, we have I don't know what this is, so obviously it's going in the never had this category. It doesn't look that good either. 
Moving on, we have, I forget what the name of this is. I've never had it before, but I do know what it is. So, obviously, it's going in the never had this category. It looks like it's just French toast, but, like, definitely made. Maybe, like, dinner, but I don't know. It looks really good, though. Moving on, we have pigs in a blanket, which is sausage. And then, like, it depends what it's wrapped in. It can be pancakes. It can be bacon. Usually, it's bacon, but it can be other stuff like pancakes. And, yeah, I'll have it once in a while because sausage isn't my favorite thing in the world. It's good, but it's not my favorite thing. But what's wrapped around it makes it really good. So I'll have it every once in a while. Moving on, we have a breakfast croissant, and get it away from me. You know, this is kind of just like the burrito, too, where it's just something that I don't like. I used to like it a lot, and then it kind of just started to taste different, and I haven't found another one that I really liked as much as I originally liked the first one. That being said, I just get it away from me. Moving on, we have just a basic plain croissant, and you know what? Just get it away from me. They can be good, but they are definitely not filling at all, and if you put something in it, like the eggs and whatever, like the one on the left of where I just put this, it can be better, but still, croissants by itself and stuff are just not good, and I don't want to have it. Moving on, we have donuts, and yeah, why wouldn't I not like this? I'll have it every day if I could, and like go to Krispy Kreme or go to like one of those local donut shops. It It's really good, and I mean, it's very unhealthy to have for breakfast, but if it's good, I'll have it every day. It doesn't fill you up as much, but I mean, lunch, you can have just an earlier lunch. Moving on, we have English muffins, and... I'll have it every once in a while. It's really good when you put jelly on it and butter. But if you really just, like, have it plain, I don't like it at all. They're all in all pretty good, but I would not have it every day. I'll just probably have it about once a week or so. Moving on, we have French toast. And, yeah, I'll have that every day. French toast is just super good no matter what. And then when you have, like, that berry sauce, it is super good. No matter where you get it and how you make it, French toast is always good and i don't think i'll ever see a french toast that is not good at all moving on we have whatever this is and definitely have never had it because i don't even know what it is moving on we have another thing that i've never had before it looks pretty sugary or something but yeah just haven't had it before moving on we have hash browns and i'll have them once in a while they, don't get me wrong, are really good, especially when you had them with ketchup. But after a while, they can get a little just plain and not that good anymore. So it's something that I'll have maybe about every week or so. Moving on, we have chocolate chip muffins, and I'll have them every day if I could. They are super good, and just the chocolate in general is really good having inside a muffin, which is fine just by itself. All in all, a chocolate chip muffin, really good. Moving on, we have, I don't know what this is. It looks like it has certain courses or something. I don't know what this is. It looks decent, but just never seen this in my life. Moving on, we have omelets, and get it away from me. Like I said, not an egg person, really, and omelets are big in eggs and stuff. Just in general, don't like omelets at all. Moving on, we have pancakes, and definitely every day. When I think of breakfast or hear the word breakfast, I think of either pancakes or, or waffles. Pancakes are just super good, easily one of my favorite breakfast foods of all time, and I would take these any day if I could. Moving on, we have Pop-Tarts, and I'll have these just like once, maybe every month or so. They're not that good to me, but they don't deserve to be in the get it away from me category, because sometimes I will take a Pop-Tart and they can be good. It's just, I don't really like them as much as I used to, and I feel like they could be much better than what they are. Moving on, we have protein bars, and get it away from me. And here's the thing, I would take a protein bar maybe at like 12 o'clock or something like that but i'm not gonna take it for a breakfast i know that they could be really good in filling you up because they have so much protein obviously but it just doesn't sound good as a breakfast i will take it though like as maybe after lunch or a snack and stuff Moving on, we have quiche, and I'm not going to have that. Get it away from me. The thing is, is that quiche can be good sometimes, depending on how you make it and what it's made with. But a main ingredient is eggs, and obviously, like I've said multiple times, I do not like eggs. So therefore, I don't really like quiche. 
Moving on, we have another breakfast sandwich, or like an Egg McMuffin, and get it away from me. Like I said, I do not like breakfast sandwiches really anymore, and especially Egg McMuffins. I used to like them, but I think I had them a little too much and stuff. That made it just not that good anymore, and they're definitely not the healthiest for you. And then another thing is that they have eggs. Moving on, we have sausages, and like I said with the pigs in a blanket, sausages I'll have every once in a while, but they aren't always the best. You definitely can make a bad sausage, and sometimes they can have a lot of fat in them, which I don't really like. And also, after you have like two or three, they start getting a little plain and kind of nasty tasting. All in all, I'll have them maybe like once every couple days or so. Moving on, we have smoothies, and it's kind of different. The way I'm going to put it is that I would put it in the everyday category because, like, Jamba Juice smoothies are super good and stuff, but homemade smoothies, which is what I'm going to consider this, I only have it once in a while. They're really good for you and will fill you up, but I really haven't found that recipe yet that I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want this every day. Moving on, we have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I'll have it once in a while. I love the flavor a lot, don't get me wrong, but it's cereal, and I'm not a big cereal fan in general. And not only that, but it doesn't fill you up a lot at all, and it only lasts you through like half the morning and stuff. So with that being said, I'm putting it in once in a while, but still, really good flavor. Moving on, we have toast, and like I said about this Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it won't fill you up a lot at all, so it's going to go in once in a while, but still, when I have toast, sometimes it's really good. When you put butter or jelly or both, it's really good, and then if you toast it just correct, it's just super good. All in all, a really good thing, and I'll have it probably once a week or so. Moving on, we have waffles, and definitely a breakfast food that I'll have every day. Like I said with the pancakes, it's the same thing. When I think of breakfast, I think of waffles or pancakes two really good breakfast foods and it's not healthy for you at all but it's well worth it because it's just super good moving on we have i believe greek yogurt so we're just gonna say it's greek yogurt even if it's not and get it away from me i hate this type of yogurt because it doesn't have a taste at all and that little tiny taste that is there it's just a nasty taste get it away from me i can make it in smoothies and stuff but i'm not gonna have it plain and last but not least, we have, I don't even know what this is, like bread and beans. I, I've never had this before, nor have I ever saw this before. It doesn't look that really good for breakfast anyways for me, so I don't think I want to try it or even like it. So with that being said, this is the official Blizzard Productions breakfast tier list. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I hope you guys made it all the way to the end because if you did, that means a lot to me. And hopefully you didn't just like skip all the way to the end, which I'm sure some of you do do. But I hope that you watched the whole thing because that means a lot to me. And it means that I kept you guys entertained and you guys maybe liked what I was saying or maybe you didn't. And like I said in the intro, if you did not like what I was saying or did not agree with some of the foods, then go ahead and put in the comment section down below what food you did not agree with or foods. And then I'll go ahead and respond back to you and give your comment a like. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video and share this channel. Because like I said in the video posted last week, that I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of December 31st. So January 1st, if I have 100 subscribers or more, I will go ahead and make another parody. Like I said, just go ahead and put share this video with your friends family and tell them to subscribe because i can't go ahead and reach that goal without you guys sharing this video and telling friends and family members to subscribe so i know that you guys are enjoying this video and the these videos and this channel so with that being said thank you so much for watching this video please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next tuesday